Embarrassing fits. Oof. So I made a video called the goofiest student outfits about a year ago. And I saw some people in that comment section like, what about you, Doug? Huh? What were your fits, buddy? Huh? What were they looking like? And you really think I'm going to sit here and let myself slide? Absolutely the fuck not. I saved this for a personal video of its own. These are outfits that will get you roasted. And as we go throughout the video, these fashion choices I'd made are just going to get more and more embarrassing. So buckle up. Now, I had a favorite shirt. I had many favorite shirts growing up and I would just wear them like a goddamn cartoon character over and over again. That'll be different if that was the only shirt in my wardrobe, but it wasn't. I was getting roasted by my own family. Like this has got to get put on the list, although it's not really that embarrassing. Like if your family roasts your fit, then I think it's just time to pack up. Hey, duck, how you doing, buddy? I can see the shirt. It's, it's got to be walking on its own one day. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I really love the shirt. Was I embarrassed by this? Eh, not really. I'll give it like a solid 2 out of 10. The only people that really noticed that I wore them all the time was my family because I saw them the most. So that, that, that only makes sense. Next, we got to talk about turtlenecks, a fashion trend that should stay fucking dead in the gutter. I hate those things. Like, I had to wear that instead of a Kamla dress shirt. You know, I could have put that shit on, put that shit on nice, but no. I wore a goddamn turtleneck. If I pulled up to the club with this thing on now, I would be getting zero girls on my dick. None. There would be none. They're, they'd all just be running away from me. Oh my god, he's got a fucking turtleneck. What is this kid in like 2010? I don't know, just something about this just makes me feel so embarrassed that I used to wear these. Anytime I would wear it out, like I would just fucking feel so irritated with this like piece of cloth on my neck because I'm just not used to it being there. And I just knew. I, I had a gut feeling inside of me. As soon as I stepped into the function, I looked goofy. 3 out of 10, just for generating the embarrassing feeling. Next, we got pun shirts. Now, you're, might, you might be asking asking what the hell is a pun shirt well for example i had one that said you rock and then you rule and it'll always have these characters on it and there would be a punchline on the t-shirt you know i thought i just thought i was the funniest guy on the planet bro like i was literally trying so hard to be the class clown and it was failing i thought i was the shit bro everyone was reading my shirt and i already know they were hysterically laughing they were so silent because it was it was that funny and i also got those video game t-shirts i couldn't just rub it in enough that i just loved video games guys i couldn't just wear just that solid mario t-shirt when i was a kid no i had to wear these stupid shirts. I will trade my sister for video games and pizza. <laughs> even though I didn't even have a sister. I have a fucking brother, but I still wore it. And oh, it gets worse, bro. Just, just to rub it in that I'm a sweaty Discord moderator that doesn't get off the game. I paused my game to be here. I did. My to-do list. Replace my sister with video games. Use awesomeness to beat all my video games. That is a crazy sentence. Get paid to play video games. And get more video games. Can't forget that one. Back then, I felt zero shame while wearing these shirts. And years later, this these shirts just aged so fucking poorly. Oh my god, it just hurts. I would just shuffle through the character t-shirts and that was my wardrobe rotation. Like, I didn't wear anything else. We'll give it like a 4.5 out of 10. I was so prideful in the shirts. I wore them bitches until the characters just came off the fucking shirt. Like until they were about to like disintegrate off there. Next we got Panda Dunks. This was definitely my worst financial decision on this list. I dropped 300 on those hoes. 300. Just for me to wear them like three times. And the second I stepped out the crib, I got clowned, bro. Like it was over. And the shoes already creased right away. I thought I was fucking styled. But no, I was getting roasted and I had creased ass shoes that I spent $300 on. Not a good investment. Not a good investment. Like, why would I pay to be tormented? That's just dumb. And I already know if someone's gonna be like, oh, it's okay, you know, if you like. No, I didn't even like them. I just got them because they were trendy. I was just dick riding trends. And I was hearing all this rave about Nike dunks, so I just got one. So yeah, worst financial decision of my life. Five out of ten. I had to do goddamn fucking cartwheels with the laces to tie the shoes. I didn't even like them. And there were just uncomfortable as shit because I didn't know how to tie the laces. Not worth the $300 if you didn't like what you heard. Then you got the zip-up hoodies. Now, this isn't like your zip, like an actual zip-up hoodie. This was the one where the zipper would continue to the hoodie and as soon as
soon as I zipped up that hood, I turned into a Minecraft creeper, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, this one, I didn't even wear the creeper hoodie to school. And if I did, I would keep the hood down. I would not do that stupid shit. Where I would zip up the hoodie and be like, Hey guys, I'm a creeper, technically. If I knew about the creeper cereal, I would have gotten it in this era. Believe me, I was like addicted to Minecraft. We were way past the gamer shirts, bro. We were just way past just regular Minecraft t-shirts now. What was the point of buying it? If I didn't even zip up the goddamn hoodie. 6 out of 10. Or 6.5. We'll give it a 6.5. Just for it being a creeper version. Next, we got a nice, smooth transition into Neon Drip, bro. I didn't even realize how goofy I was looking. I was looking like a highlighter on the court, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you. And to put it, to put the pieces together, I had the nice neon socks that would go up all the way to my fucking knees, bro. I didn't wear them all the way to my knees, but you know those socks I'm talking about. I had a pair of neon green ones. I had blue ones. I had red ones. Like, bro, where's the fashion sense? Like, wh what the fuck? Like, I would wear those same socks to baseball You're practice. Out. That's how you know it was bad. Of course, it would look so dusty, too. The socks, like, ah. Uh. And we can't forget the shirts and the pants. I had, like, blue shorts with the green shirt. Oh, I love that combo. Brings me back. And I also had, like, basketball shoes that would never go with my outfit, too. Like, I would have the loudest pair of KDs known to man. Them Johns would be, like, light green. Like, we can't forget that trend, bro. That shit was a classic. I could have paired well with the KDs. Like, somehow I could have pulled that off. But no, I, I decided to wear fucking highlighter kid shirts to go with it. Just to make the fit look even worse. Could have matched the shoes pretty well, but I sold on that. 7 out of 10. I just looked like a walking highlighter. And these outfits I would wear, these highlighter fits, they would never match. I would wear, like, an Under Armour sweatshirt which with, like, orange color with, like, fucking bright green shorts. Like, ah! I literally look like this just thinking about how shit my fashion choices were. Oh my god. For this one, I'm just disgusted. Like, this is just... Ugh, this is just abysmal. And I can't forget, I was straight cripping and I was literally wearing blue on blue on some days. Like, if I went into O Block, I would have got my ass shot. Well, we'll just say that. If you can tell, I was just in love with the color blue, bro. I had blue everything. That was like the only color I'd wear. I would never switch it up either. It was like blue, 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 blue. Like, oh my. And I would never match just to put the icing on the cake. This one, I'd give like a solid eight and a half out of 10. This was just far more embarrassing than the others, but I still walked in the building like I was him with like full confidence, huh? which makes zero sense to me. I thought I was putting that shit on, but I, I didn't respectfully. That was fucking shit. But you know what? I did smell like shit though. Like fucking Axe spray deodorant. One year I had this on. It was like fifth grade. I had the Axe body wash to go with the Axe deodorant. Don't worry. And I would spray that motherfucker like it was a stink bomb. Make sure I douse myself in Axe in, in school just so I can make all everyone just faint in the fucking classroom. Like, bro, you probably would have passed out if you sat next to me. I don't know how I didn't just, like, fucking throw up because of how nauseous I would have been from the smell. But apparently, I was just able to handle it, man. I was just so manly. I was just smelt so manly, guys. Oh, my God. But good thing my Axe phase was before middle school. So at least I didn't spray in the boys' locker room and made it smell, like, even shittier than it was before. This one... This one is getting a 10 out of 10. I doused myself in Axe deodorant. Is there anything else I need to say? I, I literally covered myself in a fucking stink bomb. Sure, you go nose blind to it after 10 minutes, but still. It's just way too strong, bro, and... I was not pulling with that on, trust. Like, I would go talk to my school crush and she wouldn't talk back to me. Like, that's how bad it was. I blame the fucking Axe deodorant, that's what I blame. But there's one more that exceeds the 10 out of 10 scale that I just made up in my own head. This was fucking horrible. This was a nightmare. Now, if you're a real OG on the channel, you'll know about this one. My grandmother used to cut hair, so she offered to give me a haircut. And guess what I asked for? A mohawk. Yeah, yeah, a fucking mohawk. If this doesn't scream poor fashion choice, I don't know what does. And I made that shit blue. I just love Dan TDM that much, I guess. I wanted to become the Walmart Dan TDM, but with less hair looking like the fucking hog rider. I put in that, like, that cheap blue hair dye that, like, washes out, too, and I would always ask my friends, uh, is my hair still blue, guys? Is it still blue? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, please. And then one day, my dad just had enough. Enough of me and my stupid fucking punk rock mohawk, and he just shaved my head one day after I came upstairs after my grandmother gave me my haircut. He was just done. He said, fuck you and your stupid mohawk and shave my head. Infinity out of 10. 
Mohawk's embarrassing, and I wore a hat everywhere I went until my buzzed hair grew back. If you're watching right now, comment go because thank you all so much for the support this year. A year ago today, this channel was literally like a dead burner account. But seriously, thank you all so much for the support and happy new years. And go watch that video right there. See it? See that playlist? Go watch it.